Hello, everyone. I don't know if this is working yet. We're going to wait a second. You are live, yeah. All right. Hi, everyone. How are we doing today? If you can hear some rain, it is just started to pour in um, central Illinois, so sorry about that. But my name is Kelly Sanders. Um, I'm from Sanders and Second on Instagram. I teach second grade in um, central Illinois. And I am so excited to be here today because, first of all, I am obsessed with reading. My students call me the crazy book lady in our classroom because I'm constantly on Amazon ordering books and every week they're like, what are we reading this week? And I'm like, it's a surprise. So I like to surprise my kids with new books every single week. So I want to surprise you guys with a book I have never read before um, that I just purchased. And I'm actually going to read this to my students on the last day of school. That's kind of summer themed. But in order for me to read it, I need your help to help guess what the book is about. So I have some things in this baggie that kind of all relate to what the title is. So I need your help to kind of predict using these clues in this bag, what the title is going to be, okay? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up at home if you're watching. Okay, here we go. So think about how all of these items are similar, what they all have in common, and then what you think the title is going to be, okay? So here we go. My first object is a ruler, okay? Now think about what it's made out of. Okay, got a ruler. My second object is a pencil. So I have a pencil, I have a ruler. Hmm, I think they're both made out of wood. You got that, give yourself a thumbs up. Okay, my next object is butter. That's not made out of wood because I don't eat wood and I know I had butter on my toast this morning. So, hmm. Weird, how would those connect? My fourth object is paintbrush. This is made out of wood though. So three objects made out of wood, one st stick of butter. <laughs> then I have glue stick. That's not made out of wood. I eat this, I don't eat this, right? Little kids, we don't eat this. We don't, we're not supposed to eat the glue sticks. And then my last object, popsicle stick. Okay, so popsicle stick, butter, glue stick, paintbrush, pencil, ruler. What do all of these have in common? Okay, does anyone know? Can you make a prediction? What are they, how are they all of the same? So ruler, pencil, paintbrush, and popsicle stick, they're all made of wood. I call this a stick of butter, and I call this a glue stick. So they are all sticks. If you got that right, give yourself a whoop whoop, because we are reading a book today called Sticks. And it is actually all about my friend Popsicle right here. And if you can tell, Popsicle, he's not so happy. And you can tell over here, he's actually melting. Now, what would make a, a solid melt? Heat, right? So think about how Popsicle will be melting to create this puddle. Now, when we're reading a fiction book, which means it's not real, the character usually always has a problem. That is something that went wrong. They're not happy about something, and they're going to have to fix it. So when I try to figure out the problem as a good reader, I'm going to think about sticky situations. Have you ever been in a sticky situation where you have a problem? I know I have. Think about problems you may have. Like you may, my students know every single morning I always spill my coffee. That's always a problem I have and I have to fix it using a solution. So when I'm trying to figure out a problem as a good reader when I'm reading, I'm going to ask myself three questions, okay? Put up number one with me. Number one, I ask myself, what went wrong? What did the character do? What went wrong? Number two, what does the character want to change or fix? So maybe nothing really went wrong, but he or she wants to change something about themselves. And then number three, what challenge did the character face? Was there a problem in the world? Was there a problem with another character? So we're gonna ask ourselves those three questions. Okay, now when they have a problem, they're always going to try to 
fix that problem. She can't leave a problem B, you have to fix it. So I'm going to ask myself three more questions. Okay, three fingers up again. Number one, how did the character solve the problem? What made them happy again? What made them fix what was wrong? Number two, how, what did the character do to fix what was wrong? So what did they do to overcome what made them unhappy? What made them mad or upset? Number three, how did the character overcome their challenge? Maybe they had to overcome something with themselves, another character, or the world around them. Okay? So in this book, Sticks, by Diane Elber, we're going to figure out what the character did or what the character's problem was, and then what are they going to do to fix that problem. If you're ready to go, put your hand on my head for me, or your hand on your head so I know you're ready. Okay? And here we go. I want you to be listening for the problem first because the problem becomes before the solution. And you're going to get this paper later. It's called Sticky Situations where I'm going to write what the problem is, what the solution is, and a quick picture above. Okay, Sticks. And I always make sure to look on the inside cover because this gives you the best clues about what the book's going to be about or the character. So I see Popsicle. I see a paintbrush, I see a stick from outside, and I see, oh, a melted popsicle stick. And I can tell it's melted because of the color that fades down. Do you see that? And all of them have faces on them of different emotions. Some look sad, some look happy, some look surprised, some look shocked, some look angry. So I'm going to predict there's going to be lots of emotions going on in this book. This story begins on a hot summer day when a cold, tasty treat began melting away. Point with your finger to what made that popsicle melt. If you point to the sun, give yourself a whoop whoop. You know what? I love popsicles. So later on today, if you have a popsicle, you should try one for yourself and see what makes it melt. It was so very hot and it happened so quick. What once was a popsicle was now a stained stick. Look at his face. Make that face with me. Huh. Do you think he's happy? I don't think he's happy. Deep in a puddle that was getting quite sticky, the sad little stick cried and felt rather icky. Oh, look at him cry. He's crying tears and tears into that puddle of goo. I should have not gone out when it was so hot. I was as sweet and amazing, but now I am not. What can I do? This has all gone so wrong. I'm just a plain stick. Oh, where do I belong? Now, I know when I have a problem, I feel upset or I feel angry. And right now, do you think that stick feels angry or upset? I do too. So this is where our problem is. What went wrong? What does he want to fix? What challenge does he face? So on my paper, I'm going to write the problem. The problem simply is the popsicle. What did happen? What went wrong? He melted in the sun. The popsicle melted in the sun. And now, since he melted, he's not a popsicle anymore. He's just a plain stick. Got to make sure to put a capital period there. And above, I'm just going to do a quick picture. So I'm going to draw my stick man and just a puddle around it. He's not a pu puddle anymore, or he's not a popsicle anymore. He's just a puddle. That's not good. I hope he tries to fix it. But how do you fix, once you have a popsicle that's melted on the ground, can you become a popsicle again? I don't know. Then Stick heard a voice from way up in a tree. Hello down there, you can come hang with me. I couldn't help hearing what you've been through. My name is Twig, and I'm made of wood, too. So he's way up there talking to him. He's even, like, waving to him down below. And something I love about this book is how the illustrator only did the colors of the character. So the orange, like in the sun and the popsicle, and the green, like in the tree. Everything else is black and white. Please do not cry and just listen to me. Before a sweet popsicle, you are part of a tree. There's so much in this world for you to explore. You'll get through this and be more than before. He hasn't looked too sure of himself yet. Twig quickly jumped down from that very tall tree and said, Stick, there is something I'd like you to see. 
Sometimes things happen for and reasons aren't clear, but give it some time and the answers appear. Looks like they're pointing that way. I wonder what's over there. She knew her friend Pencil could draw something grand. Hopefully he could help stick. Understand. I was once a stick too, and nothing much more. But then one special day, I got a gray core. I didn't know how to draw, so I swirled a nice line. And then I discovered I made a design. What? So all of these characters are sticks, right? These are all made out of wood. So they're kind of the same, but still, poor Popsicle Stick here doesn't feel like he has a special talent anymore. You are amazing. Can't you see? I'm just a stained stick. My only talent was melting too quick. I cannot draw or do a fun trick. I'll always be just an icky, sticky stick. Mm. He doesn't look like he is happy anymore. So what I notice, I want to stop real quick. I notice that this book has some rhyming words. Stick and trick, quick and stick. And has the words icky and sticky. I know those rhyme because they have the same word ending. And what I really notice about the word sticks is those two letters right there, CK. Do you know what sound CK makes? I know it makes the K sound. But I also know C makes K on its own and K makes K on its own. But together, they also make K. So when K is in a word, it becomes after a short vowel, like I, that makes the I sound. And it's in the middle of a word or at the end of the word. So when you see the, sound, the, word, the letter CK, I want you to think of the word sticks and how it becomes after a short vowel in the middle or at the end of the word. Like the word stick, quick, trick, icky, sticky, and stick. All of those words have CK in it. Twig knew she needed to show stick even more. Something amazing that he could not ignore. So they went to see Brush. He was once lost too. But now he could paint with red, yellow, and blue. So they're going to see a new friend. Brush was a plain stick and nothing much more. But one special day, he got bristles galore. Look at him now. Look at all he can do. He easily made that fun splatter crew. It is true what Twig said. I was once just like you. Please do not be afraid to try something new. I know you are scared. I can tell by your face. But it might take some time to find your right place. It's true. You don't always know what you're meant to be when you grow up. But eventually you'll figure it out. Hopefully Popsicle Stick will too. We believe in you. Can't you see? I'm just a stained stick. My only talent was melting too quick. I cannot paint or do a fun trick. I'll always be just an icky, sticky stick. Oh, he's not getting it, is he? Listen to me. You are pretty great. Don't say I can't. Say I can't and celebrate. I know you have not been, a, not been a plain stick before. You have the chance now to be something more. What? What could Popsicle Stick be? Can't be a Popsicle Stick anymore. What would you become? Let's see. Twig saw that Stick was still very upset. So she thought they should go back to where they first met. Back at that sweet puddle of sugary glue, goo, Twig thought Stick might find a good clue. Then Twig looked up. It's been there all along. That little stick house could be where you belong. Now I want you to look up there in that stick house for the bird. There's a popsicle stick missing. Could that be where Stick was meant to be all along? Twig was excited. She ran up the tree and shouted to Stick, hurry up, follow me. Stick couldn't believe Twig climbed up so high. I never climbed a tree. I'm too scared to try. Oh, is he going to get up there? Just then, a bluebird flew down to the ground and lifted Stick up without making a sound. Look at his face. <gasps> is he going to fit? Do you think he's going to fit? Put your hand on your head if you think it's going to be a perfect match. Ready? 
The bird placed him gently in the last open space. Finally, Stick found his new happy place. This is where I belong. I can make art in a tree. It was quite a journey, but I'm glad to be me. Now look at his face now. He looks happy. Where in the problem, he was mad or upset. Now, I think the problem was solved. So now we have the solution to the problem. How did the character solve the problem? What did the character do to change what was wrong? Or what did the character do to overcome their challenge? So we're going to write, let's see what happened. How did he solve it? Remember, who, a little help from our friend, right? The bluebird. So the bluebird flew him up into the birdhouse where he belonged. And I'm going to draw a quick picture just of a birdhouse. doesn't have to be perfect. So he went from being a melted popsicle stick to being part of a tree art. And look at his colors match in the tree because they're all melted popsicle sticks. So that is almost the end. Now look at the background. Remember before when it was all black and white? Now it's full of color. Stick never forgot that one summer day and was glad that his popsicle melted away. He made some true friends and some beautiful tree art and learned it's never too late to have a fresh start. So did he remember at the beginning when he was so upset and all he wanted to do was be a sweet treat? Well now, without melting, he wouldn't have gained these awesome friends and found where he truly belonged, up in the tree right by his friend Twig. The end. So in that story, he had a sticky situation. The problem was the popsicle melted in the sun and it just became a puddle of goo. The solution was that the bluebird blue flew him up into the birdhouse where he belongs by his friend Twig, right? So after that, we write that, I want you to come up with your own problem solution. What's a problem you have? And then how can you fix that problem? We have problems every single day, correct? So I want you to think about what's going wrong and how you're going to fix it because we can never leave a problem be. We always have to try to fix it and be, do our best. So we've done problem solution. We've learned about CK, which makes the K sound. And there's one more thing. I was thinking, this birdhouse was made out of sticks, right? So I want to do some stem with you. Some stick stem, which means making something new out of a bunch of plain old sticks. Because just like the story, he was a plain stick, and we had to help them out to become something new and exciting. So you're going to get this paper called Stick Stem, and I want you to try today, if you can, remember, ask your parents if you can do this, to build something out of sticks. Now, it can be popsicle sticks that you have, or maybe sticks from just outside in your yard, whatever you have around you. So you're going to write what materials you used. I used popsicle sticks, hot glue, remember, use that with an adult, and markers. And with, here's what I made. I made a birdhouse using popsicle sticks that are glued together. And I drew a, pic a picture of what I made. So are you ready to see what I made? I made his birdhouse. And there he is right there where he belongs with his friends. So I used popsicle sticks, hot glue, and markers from the story. So this is my stick stem project and I would love for you to do yours today and to share it so I can see what you, you created. Okay well I really hope you enjoyed this story. Remember we did problem and solution, we learned about the CK sound, and you're about to do some stick stem just like me to put these sticks right back into the place they need to be. Okay I also hope you enjoy some popsicles in the sun today and make sure they don't melt. And if they do, use that stick in a new fun way. I hope you guys have a great time. And remember, this book is called Sticks by Diane Elbert. It's such a good one. And always believe in yourself and you'll find your place in the world where you belong. Bye, guys. Thank you.